So what are some easy ways to uh, gain weight? Well, I mean, obviously people will say calories in versus calories out. You need to get take in more calories than you're burning. That's 100% true. And one way to do that, and tip number one, uh, and this one may sound weird, but I'm a big, big believer in this, is to limit the amount of water or liquid that you have with a meal. Many, many years back, I... Um, started uh, experimenting with people not drinking water uh, before their meals as an effort to improve their digestion. And it worked beautifully. Now, I'm not saying that the lack of water changes your pH and your stomach, so don't even go there with that. It just seemed like it worked really well for a lot of people that had digestive issues. And the other thing that I noticed was that you could actually eat more. It felt like you could get a lot more food down. The you know, I used to really struggle with getting down five or six ounces of chicken. Like it took me forever. If I didn't have a lot of liquid with it, it wasn't so hard. It wasn't nearly as hard, actually. If you really limit the amount of liquid with you have that you have with your meals, it'll help. And that actually leads me into tip number two. Don't be afraid to use different kinds of sauces and condiments. You'd be surprised how many calories you can jack your meal up if you just use certain spices. You know, barbecue sauce on that chicken I talked about. Well, now getting down five or six ounces just got a lot easier. Now you've actually got some barbecue sauce on and it tastes really good. And barbecue sauce is not calorie free. Uh, I'm not talking about adding Mrs. Dash. I'm talking about adding condiments that have a lot of calories and makes your food taste better. You can get more down. Again, these are simple, simple tips, but I think they'll really help you. The third tip I would give you is actually, I think also very simple, common sense, but it's eat nutrient dense foods. So instead of eating egg whites, eat whole eggs. Instead of eating lean chicken breast, eat ground chicken. Instead of eating lean turkey, eat ground turkey. Add in nuts. Add in uh, cashews, almonds, things like that. Add in avocado. Add in a lot of foods that are calorically dense. Now, one of the things I used to do, I had this special sandwich I used to have people eat. These were people that had a hyper fast metabolism. It was usually young kids and they're, you know, from like 17 to 21 years old, kind of in that ballpark. And I would have them eat these sandwiches. I'd have them eat banana, peanut butter, and honey sandwiches on wheat bread. And I would have them eat as many of those sandwiches as they could every day. So it was banana, honey, and peanut butter on wheat bread. And I would have them just pound down those sandwiches and all those guys would start gaining weight. And it wasn't magical. It was just because the food was real calorically dense. So you have to have calorically dense food. If you're trying to gain weight and you're following your favorite bodybuilder's diet, cod, tuna, and white rice, and things like that, you're going to have a really hard time gaining weight. Another food tip would be to eat before you go to bed. I read a lot of people saying, don't eat before you go to bed. It can disturb your blood sugar and upset your stomach. You're laying down right away. But experiment. I mean, I One thing I cannot stand is being hungry when I go to bed. If I even get the slightest bit hungry, I, it disturbs my sleep. If you eat before you go to bed a well-balanced meal, something with fat, carbohydrates, and protein, kind of keep your blood sugar steady, um, I think that helps as well. Don't ever go to bed hungry. You'll, you'll lay there tossing and turning, not being able to sleep. And I would make it something that tastes good too. You've got the sauces, the condiments, you've got calorically dense food. You've got the late meal. Fifth tip I would say is when I talk to people about getting lean, I tell them to increase their needs, which is non-exercise, activity, thermogenesis, which is just a bunch of big words that mean stay busy during the day. I would now tell you to do the opposite. Don't be afraid to sit around and watch, watch a little bit more of the, the new DC movie actually on HBO Max, the new four-hour version of the Justice League. It was phenomenal. So just sit there for four hours chill out, have some of those peanut butter, honey, and banana sandwiches. Um, but don't, don't be so worried about staying so active and you know, get some naps in, um, because need is actually a big part of your total energy expenditure. It's very, very underestimated. And I tell people before a contest to get lean, I'm more concerned about that than I am about their actual cardio. I believe that your whole day of activity and how you're moving around is much more indicative of burning more calories than doing a 40 minute cardio session. So now I'm going just the opposite on that. Need is important. So now I'm telling you to slow it down. Don't don't be as busy. Chill out. Uh, chill Netflix and chill, they call it, right? So those are five super, super simple tips you can put in your plan. Very easy. Do them all, and you're going to see the weight coming quickly.